Le Bon Sens Pius dans la Nature, by Paul Henri Thierry, known as Baron de Holbach, presents a philosophical exploration deeply rooted in the natural world. Published in the 18th century, this work embodies Enlightenment ideals, advocating for a rational understanding of life derived from observations of nature. Theory's central thesis revolves around the concept of bon sens, or good sense, asserting that this wisdom can be found by observing the natural world. He argues that nature itself holds the key to understanding human existence, rejecting supernatural explanations in favor of empirical evidence and reason. The book serves as a robust critique of religious dogma and superstition, advocating for a scientific approach to comprehending the world. Throughout the text, theory eloquently dissects various aspects of existence, intertwining philosophy, science, and observation. He champions the notion that the laws governing nature are universally applicable, providing a framework for understanding human behavior, morality, and societal structures. By drawing parallels between the natural world and human society, he advocates for a more harmonious and rational existence. One of the primary themes explored is the rejection of religious authority in favor of empirical observation and rational inquiry. Theory posits that relying on superstition and religious doctrines hinders progress and understanding. Instead, he advocates for a scientific mindset, emphasizing the importance of evidence-based reasoning in critical thinking. Furthermore, the text delves into the concept of determinism, arguing that natural laws govern everything, including human actions. Theory's deterministic perspective challenges notions of free will, suggesting that human behavior is a product of environmental and societal influences, echoing ideas that gain traction in Enlightenment philosophy. The author also critiques the societal structures of his time, highlighting inequalities and injustices perpetuated by traditional institutions. He calls for a restructuring of society based on rational principles derived from nature, advocating for equality, justice, and the pursuit of common good. Theory's prose is characterized by clarity and precision, making complex philosophical concepts accessible to a broader audience. His arguments are well supported with examples from the natural world, demonstrating the interconnectedness of human life with the environment. Moreover, the book's enduring relevance lies in its emphasis on empirical observation and rational inquiry. Theory's advocacy for a scientific approach to understanding the world foreshadowed the advancements and ideals that would later shape the age of reason and scientific progress. In conclusion, Le Bon Sens Pius dans la Nature stands as a seminal work advocating for a rational, nature-based understanding of existence. Theory's critique of religious dogma, advocacy for empirical observation, and call for a restructured society based on rational principles resonate as foundational aspects of Enlightenment thought. The book's enduring relevance lies in its advocacy for a scientific mindset and its insistence on deriving wisdom from the natural world, shaping discussions on philosophy, science, and societal structures for generations to come.